Oh my god, that doesn't really make sense. I've cursed so much on Facebook, oh my god. How much has changed there? Oh my god, that was so long ago. Hey guys, sorry if you can hear my laptop fan, but it's right here because that's what this I'm using to film this video. Sorry, it's so loud. Today's video is inspired by my friend Jess. She actually like told me she wanted to do this video and I was like I'm totally copying that idea because it's so good so I'll link her video in the description box and this is kind of reading Facebook posts Facebook statuses I don't really use Facebook all that much anymore maybe just kind of for my channel and like I'll post my profile picture but that's pretty much it and when I got Facebook I was pretty young um, I was definitely a MySpace kid all the way I was like, addicted to it. I would spend hours and hours and hours writing like HTML for like my background and changing every little tiny like font and everything in my description and adding music so when Facebook came out, I was like, I'm not going to Facebook, it's gonna just like die out, you know, I'm gonna stay with MySpace, MySpace is awesome. But eventually I got Facebook, and when I did it was in 2007 according to Facebook, since they let you go back and look at all that stuff. I was in middle of my freshman year of high school, and now I am a fifth year senior at college, so that was over 10 years ago, so... Or just 10 years ago, 9 years ago, 10 years ago, 4, 8, 9, 9 years ago, 10 years ago, something like that. But I thought I would go through and read my statuses and any other funny thing I see. This is probably going to be pretty embarrassing. But, um, my first Facebook post was on May 3rd, 2007, and it said, going to bed. Yeah, I was cool. Next, the same day, a couple hours later, feeling the whole carefree life thing. They're getting real juicy. One, one more day later, bored. Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. I'm so bored I wrote on my own wall. That doesn't really make sense. What it was wrong with me? I'm gonna skip some of these because they're super boring. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, May 14th, 2007. At this point, I want to say I was how old? 2007. 2007, I was... 2010. No. 2002. I was in 10. Okay, I was 14 when all I wrote all these posts, okay? So, May 14, 2007. Smith Ann is really disgusted and annoyed by guys. Well, that's pretty much still true, so it's not really all that embarrassing. <laughs> oh my god. A couple days later, Smith Ann is ready to see Shrek the Third tomorrow. Seeing Shrek the Third today, and I posted that twice just in case no one liked it. And by the way, none of these posts have likes or comments or anything. That's how cool I was. Oh my god, I can't use this one as a curse word in it because I was so cool when I was 14. And, and a couple minutes later, I don't know why I kept doing this. I kept making statuses and then like rewording them and reposting them instead of deleting the old one. So excited for Summer 07. Oh my god, that was so long ago. Jeez. So bored, so text her. Going to the mall. Going on vacation in 10 days. Home from vacation, so hit me up. I obviously was like begging people to talk to me. Oh, what's this? I don't even know what this is. I don't remember who I liked at this point, but one on September 12th, I wrote hopeful and in love, heart. On the 13th, I wrote hopeful, heart. Like, I don't know what I was hopeful about. Like, I don't remember. Every day up until my birthday, I was like, birthday in eight days, birthday in seven days. Like, no one cares, and everyone got a notification it was my birthday anyway. Like, what is that? Oh my god, of course. Samantha Ann is annoyed by a guy. Naturally. That wasn't really like read between the lines. Like whoever uh, that guy was obviously was friends with me on Facebook most likely and could see that and knew it was him. This must be a song. I just don't remember what it is. It's October 13, 2007. Take a chance. Don't worry about the complications or the consequences. Just live in the moment. Feel, don't think. Is that a song? If you even know what song that is, let me know because I do not call. Oh my god, this one is really pathetic. These are both the same day. Samantha Ann is, oh my god, there's no one on mine. Samantha Ann is, crazy bored, text, and I had to do the uppercase and lowercase thing. Like, what? Like, who? No one cared that I was bored. Obviously, no one has ever texted me. Oh, the boy I liked in eighth grade commented on my wall, sophomore year of high school. Oh my god, I was so cool. I don't remember this. I literally have no idea. So, November 6th is done with guys for now. That makes me sound like I decided I was a lesbian. I did not, so I don't know what that was. Same day. Is single on board. Like, we're 14, 15 years old, we're all single on board. And day later is eating. So that all kind of together <laughs> lines up to me being the coolest person ever. Same day, couple hours later. Is that work? Text or call? Why was there? Is bored? Call or text? If you are later, is bored? Call or text? I am. Comment. It's call me. I'm with my BFF. Is writing a paper? Text. Is really annoyed. It's tired. November 24th, 2007. Samantha Ann is going to party it up. What did party up mean? When I was 15 years old, party up probably meant I was going to go to Abercrombie and buy one of the Clarence t-shirts. September 2008 is anxious. 
Well, not much has changed there. Oh, I posted a video of my little brother dancing in my room and the boy I liked at the time commented on the, the video when we chatted for a while. It was really cool. He was like, you're so lame. And I was like, ah, that's what I was aiming for. And let me know if you guys know what song this is because I remember. This is December 4th, 2008. I wanna be because that would just be extra embarrassing. It's December 8th, 2008. Samantha Ann is close over bros. This is when you also liked someone or you're like mad at someone. You'd use lyrics from a song to like really underhandedly like attack them. Yeah. So I don't know what this was about, but I wrote, I quoted the song. Must be stupid, must be crazy, must be out of my mind. I don't remember what song that is. Oh my God, it's driving me crazy. So obviously I was still having issues with the ex at the time. And I quoted, um, what is it, Unwritten, right? Is that the song? I can't remember. It's a... Oh my god. This is also when we posted the, uh, this video. It was like a horror movie. Um, my dorm building, when I lived at school, we created like this horror film. It was like really short. It was like 17 minutes long. It's actually on my channel. And I think it's unlocked if you want to check it out. It's in, the, it's in like my videos if you want to scroll back and find it. I'm not going to link it below because I'm not encouraging that. And it's pretty freaking embarrassing for everyone involved actually. Especially me. I wanted to play the dumb girl. Like, because you know how in all those scary horror movies there's like a dumb girl. That's what I played. My acting was horrible. My death scene was pretty intense. And I liked it. It was actually pretty good. So, if you want to check that out and really like look how embarrassing I am you can go check that out on my channel it's like my first video I think it's ever on my channel <sighs> October I got that new I'm a single girl swag and people liked these statuses like they were like supporting me in my weirdness like what is that okay that's all I'm gonna do that was pretty embarrassing I hope you guys enjoyed me embarrass myself because I did not make sure to go check out Jess's since it was her idea and if you did like this please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to see more from me and and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I... <laughs> okay. So, that was cool. Blech, I can't even talk. This is a comparison to say.